This is Live, Laugh, Level Up with how to be a pro gamer. So, you've been gaming for a few years. You've made a couple nice plays, you've racked up a few nice stats, and you've been accused of being a hacker on numerous occasions. After finally getting to that division that you've been dedicating an unhealthy amount of time to, you get into your head that you should become a professional gamer. Now listen to me very carefully. Just because you slayed a few dragons doesn't mean you're the dragonborn. So do me a favor and Fusro don't try to go pro, okay? You are most likely not tournament caliber. You are not swagful enough for that. But Adam, I see those Koreans taking pictures with models and trophies. I want to take pictures with models and trophies. Yeah, everyone does. But unlike those pro gamers who are not all Korean, you racist, you don't have the discipline and work ethic necessary to be major league material. Esports are for true athletes, which no offense, you clearly aren't. But that's why I'm here kids. After years of in-depth research and observation, as well as personal experience, I know exactly what it takes to go from being an average Joe to being a god status elite pro gamer. Buckle up kids, cause we're going to school, but not not like actual school with, with teachers and shit. Fuck that, I'm, I'm talking like Pro Gamer, Challenger Division, 10th, 20th, Prestige, depending on the card, Evo, Top Tier, School, with Pro Shit, and Shit. Step 1. Find your domain. There is no such thing as a Pro Gamer who is pro at every game. That person might as well be Gamer Jesus, or, or Buddha, or you know, whatever almighty deity you worship. In order to branch off into pro gaming, you gotta find your zone. You know, that place where you are king and everyone else answers to you. Most pro gamers start off in one game, but are easily able to transfer to different games within the same genre. Popular examples of games to attempt to go pro in include League of Legends, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, StarCraft, FIFA, Smash Bros, or any fighting game realistically. It's worth noting that some genres are easier to break into than others. For example, you will never be a League of Legends pro unless you are willing to dedicate everything to that. Look at these faces. Do they look like they know anything aside from League of Legends? When you say shit like team, they hear Teemo. When you say job, they hear Jace. When you say life outside of League of Legends, they don't hear shit. On the other hand, a game like Call of Duty or Smash Bros can be learned in a relatively short time. My recommendation? Find the first game that you're good at and stick with it. After all, trying new things isn't your style. If that were the case, you would have realized that there's so much more to gaming than esports, which there isn't, obviously. Of course not. Now, after you've considered the wide list of games to go pro in, and you've chosen League of Legends or Call of Duty, it's time for step two. Step 2. Establish your handle. Pop quiz. Okay. Please raise your hand if you can recognize any of the following names. Matthew Hag or Hog. Jason Zimmerman. Bei Iljin. Yu Zhaijan. Patrick Lindbergh. Li Young Ho. Shen Zihao. Yep, thought so. Not a single damn hand. The names that you said are some of the most famous pro gamers in the world, but nobody gives a shit what their names are. What matters is the name they choose. It's like Clark Kent vs. Superman, or Gabe Newell vs. Gabe Newell. Everyone knows who Gabe Newell is. Part of becoming a pro gamer is giving up who you are as an individual and embracing that inner douchebag within you. Your name is no longer John Smith, it is Frontier Jungler. Samantha Johnson is no longer existent, as she has been replaced by Miss Stage Spike, with X's leading and following the damn name. Your online alias is the only thing that now matters, not your date of birth, name, criminal record, or educational background. Fuck that standard ID card bullshit. The only ID you have now consists of your mains, your role, and your sponsors. Tips for establishing a good name. Try looking for a relatively short one to two word combination of words that are unnecessarily melodramatic, pretentious, 
and laughably ambiguous. Examples. Final Enemy. Lazor. With an O. Mr. Frag Victorious. Fastic Rage. Mangoes. Step 3. Get good. Yeah, that's it. Just just get good. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Like, like, even a fucking idiot could do it. Step 4. Break out into the competitive scene. Now that you've gotten good, and you have the background skill stats and hate messages to prove it, it's time for you to get your first big break. Find the next big tournament in your domain and sign up. Even if it's not the World Championship Series, you gotta start somewhere. So if your local elementary school is hosting a 3v3 CTF Halo tournament, you better shit all over those kids. Now, repeat this cycle of small tournaments until you finally qualify for a large scale tournament. Then, compete at this large scale tournament. Remember to dress appropriately, fuel up appropriately, and only respond to people who refer to you by your handle, no matter how ridiculous it is. Step 5. Win. If you didn't, repeat step 4. Like, th this is gonna be an endless cycle, honestly. Step 6. The follow-up. Assuming you won, you are now on everybody's radar as a pro gamer within your domain. Build upon this by either being a very social member of the competitive scene who contributes to it by actively promoting it, or by being a big enough asshole so that everyone knows who you are. Remember kids, everyone loves an asshole, but an asshole loves no one. You can also start streaming on Twitch, which is a fast and smart way to quickly get some extra cash on the side. So you can afford things you don't need, such as team shirts, gunner optics, and a professional photo shoot to make you look like the douchebag you've become. And there you have it. Congratulations, you are now a pro gamer. You are the cocky fuckboy you always wanted to be, and now you have the reputation to back it up. Too bad you still shit, get good, kid. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and please understand that basically everything I said was meant in a satirical manner, and it was mostly just me joking. I meant no offense to anyone at all, or anyone mentioned in the video, or anything mentioned in the video. If you like this video, share it with your friends, and come back in a few days. Maybe I uploaded something new. Anyway, I got shit to do, so take it easy, y'all.